Burnt toast. Burnt toast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life is not fair. Most of my coworkers are 20 something year old women. I am old enough to be their father. They are single. They are horny as fuck. Uh, one's dating a meth addict. Another one's dating somebody who I think is homeless. Another one is dating somebody who has, uh, I, I, I don't know what the fucking issue with the guy is, but he's clearly uh, uh, extremely low IQ. I'm trying to move on with my life, okay? In terms of... And guess what this is? You already know. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you on a black dating app and then you come across a white motherfucker? It's like, can't we have anything to ourselves? It's a black dating app. What the fuck are you doing on a black dating app? Your ass is white. You know what I'm saying? It's... What's up, y'all? My name is Big Seed, OG Big Seed. I've been out 10 months. Uh, I ain't afraid to say I love country music. Straight up. I don't ever work my abs. I stay this buff year round. I love black girls. I don't go anywhere without a blade. Anywhere. I'm willing to shoplift with the right person. But... Good looking, so I gotta give him that. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, here I am. Uh, horny as fuck. Having to be taunted by hot 20-year-olds. All the 30-year-olds are taken. The 40-year-olds don't even get me started on them. But, uh, yeah. The only reason I can't get one is how I look. Just interacting with the male species via internet. You know what I mean? Like, I did meet BB online, but that was like, what? What are the odds? You know? We can't have nothing for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like, leave us the fuck alone. Go make your own nap. Why you gotta be on us? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want to work a full time job. Uh, I have a car most of the time, you know, my granny ain't using it, straight up, I got a nice smile, yeah, I've never passed a drug test, ain't planning on starting now, I don't like, I don't want to have no kids, none at all. Call me shallow, you have to be attracted to somebody for something like this, okay? I mean, this is not a relationship, I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't want to get to know him better, his character, I don't give a shit, you know, I just want the D. So... I need to see what you look like because, you know, I, I need to, I need to be, you know, attracted somewhat. <laughs> I just had a ginger girl hit me up on a black dating app. I'm like. So, uh, if a book this thick scares you, you're not the girl for me. Sorry. I don't care how hot you are. If you can't hold conversation and you just want to lie there like a piece of meat. No, I'm sorry, that's not relationship material. Well, it can't happen that you meet somebody, but it's not, that's not the problem. The problem is all of the ones you're not interested in, the big turnoffs, you have to get through first, you know, like some of the creeps you find online. Well, I mean, like, I might have a few, but you know what I'm saying, like, they can't prove that, dude. I love Adderall, straight up. I love going out to eat, but you know what I'm saying? I don't think I should have to pay every time. Straight up, dude. I'll fight you, anybody that tries me anytime, anywhere. Straight pull up. It'd be one thing if you like, you know, you know, kind of close to Latina or something like that, but red hair, Nah, 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 nah. I need a relationship. I need intimacy. 
If I wanted sex, I could go to Pornhub, I can go to, I mean, I, there's any number of ways I can deal with that. There's a lot of fluff going on too, right? And these online things. I swear to God, like, not even like, not even two minutes later after I send that email, ding, replies. So I'm kind of, it's kind of a red flag for me. Like, you know, guys, if you want to like, not seem overly desperate, wait at least maybe like an hour to like reply back, you know? Beep, beep. Black dating apps are for black people. Uh, straight up, I occasionally go to church. But you know, most of the time, you know what I'm saying? I've been out, you know, the charity parties, so it's probably not a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Black, that's why they call them black dating apps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ladies, up your game. You're not getting quality guys because you yourselves might not be as high quality as you think you are. Badge right in my face, like, click, badge. <laughs> Whoa. You know, I could not fucking believe the audacity, the caudacity. So if you guys like me, you know, hit me up. The number's in the uh, description. Um, I just gotta get my phone minutes turned back on. I'm gonna do that today. Straight up, we sell my food stamp cards. Okay. And it was like, need a big hard dick tonight or something like that. Okay. So, that's cool. Um, of this, 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 this girl. You know what I'm saying? Hitting me up. On the black data gap. Like. So apparently, ugly middle aged men are not supposed to ask about signing up for hot yoga classes. <laughs> oh, little girl. You ain't getting none of this. That's for sure. Oh my god, it's like so fucking crazy. I just cannot believe. I cannot believe this, this, this ginger girl hit me up on a black dating app, y'all. I don't know. I'm very cynical, okay? Very cynical. You have no idea what you're missing out on. <laughs> so that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I'm really looking for a girl. I can share some boxing strip with. Straight up, bro. That's like a promise ring where in West Virginia where I'm from. So if you girls are interested, hit me up. Straight OG Sid saying stay solid, stay Caucasian. Tired of dating services? Do women run in fear in your presence? Do you love to dumpster dive and have food gasms? Or maybe you just got out of the slammer and you need a date that isn't named Bubba. Are you a ginger who hates other gingers? Well, here at Lowell's Cal Expectations Dating Service, we strive to connect the unlovable with a completely undateable Lowell's Cal. Satisfied customers include Shani for Christ and Revelation News. Their love story is that of domestic violence, not showering for days, and screaming <laughs> at her autistic child. How romantic! But don't worry, folks. You, too, can find the dumpster fire you've always dreamed of. Call 1-800-LOLS-COW-NEEDS-SEXY-TIME to get started on your journey to infatuation. Right now, right now, right now. And sign up today. Even Lowell's cows need sexy time. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Did y'all enjoy that? Yeah, um, that was Lowell's Expectations number two. There's actually a first one I did on my channel. <laughs> so that's, um, I figured I'd play that since a lot of people were <laughs> asking about it. So I hope you guys had a great uh, 4th of July. Um, mine was super chill. Just stayed home and did some grilling and hung out with my family. <clears throat> um... First of all, I would like to thank all the people that have been like sending me streams about Laura and Molly. I really appreciate it. I have been watching all of it. 
Um, yeah, I, I do my homework. I do a lot of research before I talk about someone and I really appreciate everyone who's been sending me things. So sweet. D Higgins, 2499. Excellent. Oh, you're welcome. That was very sweet. D Higgins is the best. Um, just a couple things before we get started. One, and this sounds really like random, but our Azriel, if you're in the chat or if you're going to watch us on the replay, you did a super chat. Um, when was it? Uh, Thursday and it went completely over my head and I was re-watching the stream I think the other day and <laughs> I realized that I totally didn't I didn't get the joke so I apologize if you were offended or anything I wasn't mad at you I was just really focused on what I was talking about and it just psh, went right over my head so sorry about that ma'am um, also I'm going to do my stream and then the second that it ends, I will end in time for you guys to watch crude AF's stream right after this. And so, um, this will not go over. I will end right at nine 30 when he starts. Um, also I wanted to show you guys something, share screen. Um, so, oh yeah, never mind. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys. What is it? Hold on one second. Oh my goodness, I lost it. <clears throat> there we go. So I wanted to show you guys um, Drag's channel. This is where a lot of people have been asking me about um, right here. Um, so basically this is Drag's channel. Um, if you go to playlists, he has a whole lot of playlists. If you're looking for more information on Shani and Jason and her ex-husband, Chris, and that whole saga, it's the Shani marriage saga. There's also other, um, the eviction saga also has Shani in it because uh, she was like involved in G-Man and they're still involved. G-Man is currently her simp. So I just wanted to show you that really quick. Um, if you guys were asking... So now we're going to watch, of course, shout out to XX. She has been tirelessly archiving all of Shani's Instagram posts and lives. And I really appreciate that. Her um, link to this video and her channel is in the description. Please uh, sub her up because she has been great about um, like archiving all of this. So let you guys let me know if you can hear it. Okay. Hi guys. How's everyone doing? What's up? Me? I'm not good. Okay, I'll turn it up. I'm not good. Oops. And I don't know if I'm ever going to be good. There we go. Don't know why I did that. Because... There just comes to a point where it's like you feel so helpless and you don't know what to do anymore. There's a point where you get so depressed that you don't even want to even try anymore. Like, what is the point of trying when every single time you do try, you get told no. You get told, nope. Nope. Can't help you. And then you get told that you're a dirtbag for something you didn't even do. It's just rumored. This is why I know that the Bible is very honest when they said that. So if you haven't caught on, she is absolutely still denying that apartment video. Like she's still sticking to this narrative that it was staged, that somehow all of the shit ninjas, that's, you know, that's what we're calling each other. Like that's, it's kind of a joke that somehow us shit ninjas 
somehow went all the way to Colorado to that apartment or townhome and that we caked on a year and a half worth of mold and mildew and dried animal urine and all the other things that you saw in that video. Like, she, I guess she thinks that all of you guys are stupid. <laughs> That's what she's talking about here. She's still claiming that it's just a rumor that we have no proof. And then if you push her on it, she'll say, oh, well, okay, well, the video exists, but it was all staged. It's like, but this is supposedly Shani's goodbye video. You know, this is my, this is my shocked face. Gossipers don't inherit the kingdom of God because it ruins lives. And, and a lot of people who gossip just don't give a fuck. Hillary Pugh right there. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Gee, is this vid the only one that she repeats every three months for the last nine years? Yep, this is what she does. Every so often, she'll say, I'm leaving YouTube. I'm deleting my channel. I'm leaving the internet. You're not going to see me ever again. Okay, bye. Girl, bye. See ya. Like, she seems to think that she's the only lols cow in all of YouTube. <laughs> As you see, once we get to Laura after this, like, clearly there's a lot more than just her. Whose lives they ruin. And how much someone struggles. As long as they get that tea, right? As long as as long as they're taken care of. You know. Do you know Britney Spears gets only paid two thousand dollars a week? Two thousand dollars a week. I don't know if you guys heard that in the background. Um, that's Rev uh, fussing at the kids, telling them they're not allowed to go into the living room because she's streaming. So they're having to, I guess, stay in the kitchen so that they don't ruin her stream. Just mother of the year, folks. While her lawyer gets $10,000 a week. So are you telling me this woman spent her whole life busting her ass, quite similar to me. I spent my whole life making videos, trying to entertain people. <laughs> and I love how she's comparing her shitty 20 hour streams to all the things that Britney Spears has accomplished in her career. <laughs> This is so like Shani, if you guys don't know, okay, she has not held a job longer than a month her entire life. The last time she had a job was in 2017 and she was only there for two weeks. She was supposed to like work overnight at a group home to like mop floors and basically, you know, clean things up. She's only there for two weeks and got fired because instead of actually doing the job, they found out that she was streaming YouTube videos on the clock. And all the jobs that she had before that, was it was very sporadic. Like she'd have a job for maybe a couple of weeks and then she'd get fired and then it would be another six months before she got something else. And it was all like minimum wage jobs. No shade on that. But what I, my point is, she can't hold a job. And then when she doesn't have a job, she doesn't want to work. That's basically what it is. She doesn't want to work. And everyone else is making money off our heads. And we can't see the fruit of our own labor. <laughs> you know why that is, Shani? Because you decided to abuse your animals and your kids on a live stream. And your boyfriend decided to threaten to beat up your autistic child. And then he also did a stream screaming the N-word like 17 times in like a, what, two-minute video? One-minute video? On top of the other racist things that you said on top of all the other, like the, the years and years and years of stuff you guys have been doing. I am shocked that you guys lasted on YouTube for this long. I'm absolutely shocked. She also, folks, 
They, uh, she got banned off of Twitter for wishing cancer on someone. Isn't that sweet, right? But she never does anything to anyone, according to Laura and some other, other enablers. Never does anything to anyone, right? She's just this innocent woman who just leaves people alone, right? <laughs> okay, sure. It's the most unfair fucking thing in the world. Like, these people have, have harassed me to the point where they've called every single place that I could think of in the area to get employment and ruined that. It took Shani how many years to get monetized? I know, right, Shiki? I know, right? Um, gosh, I think she was just recently monetized, like, in... Yeah, it was 2021 when she finally got monetized. <laughs> that lasted just a long time, didn't it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you didn't catch what she said, she thinks that or she's accusing all of you guys and all of us content creators that apparently we all got together, you know, shit ninjas unite right? That we all called every business and every home in the entire area where they're staying and said, you better not hire Shani for Christ. Like, is there anyone who actually believes that happened? My theory is that she didn't actually apply to anything. She probably went to one thing and they told her no because she has terrible job history, 11th grade education, and she has a criminal record of domestic violence, assault, and she's had her kids taken multiple times. I don't know. If I was an employee, employer, I probably would not hire someone like that. That's even before I Googled her name and looked at all the things that have happened to her. Gone Girl still here. Uh, $20 super chat. Thank you for your truth bombs, hon. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, Miss Yan says, so we called every business in her area so she can't work now. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know anyone who's stupid enough to believe that other than the few people that have been, you know, leaving these stupid comments on my channel. I mean, it's ridiculous. The thing is, is that there's a lot of businesses that hire people who are hardcore ex-felons. She's not a felon. There's no reason why she can't get a job. But I bet you her attitude and her just basic lack of people skills uh, is probably more of a detriment to her than her uh, criminal record. That's how bad it is. I can't get employment. They ruined that for me. Apparently, she's going on Brett's show at 8 p.m. Oh, really? Hmm. I thought she was doing this dream to tell everybody that she was leaving the internet and that she's not ever going to come back. That lasted, what, 24 hours? <laughs> Tata Jedi, $5 super chat. Shout out to Rick Zilla. Debate performance with Brett Keen. Takes a low bar to make Brett look smart. Good job. Oh, Jedi. Oh, boy. So, I started looking into the law, and there are laws against this in affecting people's livelihoods. Um, they were mostly made for people like the paparazzi, but those, 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 Laws do exist. And what they are doing to me is highly illegal. If she does end up going live and it's not an old video, because what he's been doing is he's been playing old interviews that he did from like four or five years ago. So if it's an actual live interview, let me know and I'll totally snipe it because I'm not I'm not going to give him any views. He's just as bad as she is. And they need to pay for what they've done. Because not only am I suffering, but my husband is suffering. My animals are suffering. And my children are suffering. You know, you say you care about the children so much, but yet you're willing to ruin 
their parents' uh, careers and and job opportunities to take care of them. <laughs> you know, is it is it some sick fucking excuse like, wow, see, they can't take care of them? Did you hear that, guys? We all ruined her YouTube career. Wow. Yep, Drag is right. Got to use those kids as meat shields. And that's exactly what she's doing. She doesn't care at all about the kids and the animals until she wants to use them to manipulate people into giving them money. And then she wonders why nobody likes her. See? No, it's because I've literally been harassed to the point where people won't even talk to me. I, I'm so isolated in my life that I don't have one friend. I really don't. I have not one friend I can talk to. And the people that I thought were my friends, they're not even there for me. Oh, violins in the chat for Shani's fake crying. Oh, poor thing. You abuse your family and siblings and parents. And so your, your whole extended family disowns you. Um, let's see. How many friends have you gone through like pairs of socks? You just throw them away after you've begged money from them, after you have slandered them, after you have tried to break up their marriages. I could go on and on. And then now you have been abusing your kids and your animals and you wonder why you don't have friends. Now, I don't believe that for a second. I believe that there are still people. Well, there's G-Man. There's Hoodat. There's several people that are still her friend. But she will lie and do this to get sympathy because she actually thinks that if she can um, emotionally manipulate those that are watching her, that you guys are going to be dumb enough to be like, oh, my gosh, Shani, I'm so sorry. Ooh. And it doesn't ever happen. David Anthony, $5 Super Chat. Imagine being a boss and getting a phone call from a stranger and being told not to hire someone. I never received an application from or interviewed. Exactly, David. I mean, he's, a, he's a, in a leadership position at his job. Like, that doesn't happen. I have worked jobs where I was the manager. I was the employer interviewing people. Even if... Somebody did call me one day and was like, hey, if someone so comes in and, and fills in an application, don't hire them. I would literally hang up and never, never think about it again. That's that's not how employers make decisions about who to hire and who not to hire. Openly objective five dollar super chat. These live streams should be seen as educational for what manipulation looks like. Those who are naive and don't know any better could benefit. Thanks. Thank you so much. And you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Like if anybody wanted to do a case study on malignant narcissism and um, emotional blackmail, she would be the case study for that. 100. They're not even there for me. And they used me so they could get information out of me. And that to give to the people who've already destroyed my life even more. Some employers do look online. Absolutely. Yep. I guarantee you, like, nowadays, if you go into a job, especially one that's more than minimum wage, you walk into a job, they're going to Google your name. That is just a fact. So... You know, it would behoove you to clean up your social media history and your YouTube history and all of that before you go start like interviewing at jobs because they're going they're going to Google you. You tell me how is this fair? You tell me how 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 it's okay. For a bunch of strangers on the internet to destroy job opportunities 
and opportunities for parents to take care of their kids. And then they're screaming child abuse. No, you're the child abusers. Because you're literally trying to squash two people out who are trying to take care of their kids. And that right there, emotional blackmail, emotional manipulation. Right there. I'm not the child abuser. You guys are the child abusers for calling out the child abuse. What? <laughs> what? So I guess every time you call out behavior like they've been doing, you're actually the guilty one. Sure. Mandy Momo, $5 super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, if she did go in, bet she went in with the Shanny for Christ weed shirt, right? She actually, I think somebody else wrote in the chat earlier, she actually wore a weed hoodie to the doctor's office, y'all. Okay. In a state where weed is illegal, me personally, I think it should be legal. But the, the thing is, the state that they live in, it is illegal. And she wore a hoodie with weed all over it in there talking about how she needs pills. Why do you think they didn't give her any? <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, girl from the Auburn Box, for becoming a member. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, Reaper 499 Super Chat. Shani's reputation will never be salvaged. With many articles that have come out on her and recent that I have read, she can never be redeemed. I mean, I tend to agree because she has done so many things for so many years. It's one of those things where... She's gotten away with this for decades upon decades. And so now it's all kind of coming to a head and she's having to deal with the consequences of her actions. You know, I deserve compensation for what's been happening to me, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm always told that I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying about my health because see, they need that excuse. They need the excuse that I'm lying about. Oh, sh is she on there live? Okay. Okay. We're definitely going to be sniping that for show. Okay. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, my goodness. Okay. What a big fat liar. Okay, guys. Isn't this interesting? Somebody who said 24 hours ago they were not going to be on the Internet anymore. Be part of social media because it's an unfair uh, abusive platform that takes advantage of the mentally ill and ex exploits them to such a point where they can't even get jobs or residents. There's a lot of people who've been harmed over the past decade since I've been on YouTube. There's people even like Thunderfoot, who's very popular, trying to be a scientist. Who by the way, uh, Brett Keen is also a domestic abuser. Shocker that a bunch of domestic abuser, child abusers, animal abusers would run to the channel of another domestic violence abuser. This guy beat up his mom and I think either his wife or his daughter. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? David Anthony, $5 Super Chat. Why do the members of the TARD community, Shani, Reb, Vaughn, and G-Man, all think they are worth the trouble they say we go through to hurt them? I don't know. Good question. In Bloom, 99 cent um, super sticker. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. This should be interesting. People actually tried to get a hold of this job and get him fired. There's been many, many occasions like this where... People who just want to share their family and their life and their happiness are getting treated. Oh, looky there, guys. Right here is G-Man. Shani, tell it like it is. It's like a, a tarred reunion. He says, Shani is on point. These morons are very abusive. 
Oh, I'll be waiting for that summons to court. Like this. Now, it's one thing to disagree with somebody and maybe you don't like the way somebody lives, but to abuse them and make an entire TV series for them, I can't say I'm about anything like that. Go I, ahead. I guess he's uh, throwing shade at you, Drag, making your, quote, TV series about them. What? Okay, Boomer. Um, Crude AF, he's also evading a ban evasion. He is. Not only has he been banned from this platform, but so are the two guests on his channel. Mm, I'm just saying. Reaper 99999 Super Chat. The article I just read spelled out that she was never the victim. The association with other people will put her in worse light than ever before. Uh, will you DM me that uh, a link to that article on Twitter? I'm not sure what article you're referring to now. Um, at Burnt Toast, Brett Keen beat his wife and mother. Isn't that sweet? Hmm. Yeah, I I agree. They've made my life into some kind of zoo exhibit instead of looking that I am a human being and I need means to support myself and my family and so does my husband. And they want to try to pose me as some abuser. Well, they're the abusive ones. Goes back to what we were talking about earlier. She, she legit thinks all of you guys are stupid. That you don't have a brain of your own to be able to watch that apartment video on Drag's channel and decide for yourself whether that is, is extreme neglect or not. Because they're literally destroying someone's livelihood for their own laughs. And it's the most disgusting display I think I've ever witnessed. It's very similar to how the press treated Britney Spears when she was going through a hard time. Uh, the hate really started after my divorce or during my breakup with, with Chris, my ex-husband. And they all made fun of me for it. They all, they all applauded Chris for cheating on me. Mm. Okay, let's just get one thing straight because I'm sick and tired of, of her slandering this guy. For those new... She was married to Chris for like six years, seven years. Again, Drag has a playlist on his channel that goes in detail through a bunch of different things. And also, I believe on the Geek Room, they actually interviewed Chris in a two-part um, series on their channel as well. Um, that was, I believe, in late 2020. Um, I will put the link in the description after the stream is over for both of those. But... She, while she was married to Chris, five years out of those seven, she was cheating on her husband with Rev, the guy in, right there, having phone sex with each other, telling each other, oh, I love you, all of this kissy, kissy stuff, planning the future together, all of that. And um, Chris's mother and Chris's brother were overhearing her talk to Rev. And could tell that they were just like, they weren't just friends. And so what happened was um, there was a whole bunch of stuff that happened. But basically, they all found out that she was cheating on Chris with Jason this entire time. Because Jason was also giving her money, by the way. So he was talking up somebody else's wife and giving her money and having phone sex with her. And planning the future with her. Oh, you're my soulmate. We're going to be together one day, blah, 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 blah. There's videos of her admitting that they had phone sex. <laughs> like, again, th these are not things that we just all made up. Like, she has said these things in videos. And like I said in the last stream, she will delete those videos and then claim that that never happened. She never said any of that. And she thinks that you guys are stupid and you're not going to remember what she said in the stream two days before. TIE Fighter Jet, $5 Super Chat for the LOL suit so you can hire a lawyer speculating in LOL's law. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait until um, they send me the supposed summons to court. I mean, I feel so, I feel so honored that two homeless people and then another homeless guy is going to sue me because I hurt their fee fees. 
Wow. I can't wait. I, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And they made my life into a joke when it was really this single mom trying to survive with her two children and had no idea how to, because it's, it's hard being a single mom, especially when you have so many people calling jobs to get you fired and, and calling your residence where you live to get you kicked out. Like, and they think it's all funny. They think it's jokes and it's, they're, they don't realize, I don't think they have really comprehended in their mind that they're affecting someone's actual livelihood, but to them, it's just all fun and jokes because they don't have to go through that, go through it themselves. You know why none of us have to go through any of that, Shani? I'll give you a hint. Um, <clears throat> okay. We don't abuse our kids. We don't abuse our animals. We don't abuse our spouse or significant other. We don't commit a hit and run or punch a cop or commit a GoFundMe scam or, you know, another scam where we say that somebody stole something. So we ask for donations and then all of a sudden we, quote, find it and then refuse to give the money back of all the people that donated for a new one. Remember that, Shani? That was just at Christmas time. Like we're not getting high and drunk and, and pretending to get to be suicidal for attention, you know, all of the things. I'm pretty sure I've never done any of those things. I don't have a criminal record. Even people that do, I'm sure that they're in a lot better place than you are because they're not doing all those other things. Because if you do all of those things, then you deserve the consequences that are coming for you. And that's ultimately what this is. The two of them are a bunch of spoiled brats. They are so used to people coming along and, and providing a safety net for them and, en and enabling their behavior, coddling them, giving them money, giving them a place to stay. And what's happening now after all of these years, what's happening now is that they have run out of people. They have run out of people to shit on and use and manipulate. Now all the guy left is G-Man who's homeless, who gets paid under the table. And then you have Hudat, which, I mean, I don't think that she's rich either. So I'm sure that there's a limit to what she can also give. That's all that's happening right now. It's a bunch of spoiled brats. They're having to face the consequences for their actions. And they're lashing out at everybody else. You know what I mean? I agree. And there's uh, some things I'd like to let people know out there. Whenever I was having trouble and I was having struggles in my life throughout the decade of being on YouTube, financial problems, Shani and Jason were one of the only people who actually reached out and they offered support. So I would ask that if they have a link or some kind of PayPal, anything, that I will be more than happy to put out in the comments. It's not just me. They've helped out many, many different users out there. Uh, they don't get on video and brag or boast about the good things they did, but I think it's important for people to know that although they have their flaws, they have helped people, they've loved people, they've been there for people, and it makes me really, really sad that the idea that they may not want to do the internet anymore, and I think a lot of people will see this and they'll say, you know what, I don't want to be done like this either because they're two normal people just fighting and struggling in life. And um, there's a lot of you out there that are in pain, a lot of you out there that are suffering, but what are you going to do if you come on the internet? You're just going to add to your problems. Um, David Anthony, $5 super chat. Didn't Shani get cheated out of royalties when she co-wrote the song and sang with the hit Britney Spears music video, Oops, My Fat Ash Shattered the Bit? <laughs> Apparently so. Um Oh, boy. So apparently uh, G-Man tried to get on. Oh, he doesn't actually join. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead, guys. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah, and also, I can't take the stress anymore. I'm having really bad health problems. Like, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here on the earth type of health problems. Oh, here we go with the, the fake I'm dying thing. Butt hurt lawyer, love the name. Two dollar super chat, David Anthony. That is butt hurt slander. Oof, 
got fighting. Fighting in the chat, folks. Uh, I, I need a walker to walk. <laughs> um, I can barely stand sometimes. <laughs> oh, walker. And it's, it's really bad. And the doctors are trying to figure out what's going on with me. And they still haven't. Oh, my gosh. Okay. She does not walk with a walker. Ever. So. Do you have a link so I can get people to try to support? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I can find some, something for you here, Brett. My PayPal. Let me, let me, let me get that real quick. My PayPal. Well, if you put the link out, I'll... Uh, post it up on the front of the video as well as in the comments. I'll pin it up for you. Okay, one sec, Brad. I'll try and I'll try and get this going. Oh, G Man's on now. Oh boy. Let me go to the beginning. Here's an introduction, new folks, to uh, G Man, the homeless grifter. Into the room. Let me uh, put this on the. Uh, yeah, there's a brother. Okay. Well, first and foremost, uh, Brett Keen, how you doing? Uh, doing long time no see. And then uh, Shani and Rev, looking forward to seeing you guys either tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay, good. Amen. Dude. Oh, my God. I, I missed you. Don't worry I about it. I got you both. Don't you. worry about it. Hmm? I just legit missed you, bro. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. We got to have a good old time when we see each other. Oh. I'm sure you will, G-Man. Uh, Dragon King, 499 Super Chat. Oh, how cute. Brett actually is pretending to care for Shani and Rev. They're all fake-ass friends. All this for views and whatnot. Yes, and everything and whatnot. David Anthony, $2 Super Chat. She's an invisible walker. Shut up. Yep, exactly. It's cool. the, like, seriously, Brett, you need to meet G-Man. He is a wonderful energy to be around. It's true. He will brighten your depressed ass up. Like he brightens <laughs> my depressed ass up. It's true. He does, man. He does. He's a beautiful, he's an amazing man. And I don't understand. Like if you got to know him, I don't understand why he would get any hate because if they knew how amazing he was, they wouldn't hate on him. Why at all. they attack him? I think he's a beautiful man and just. Yeah. So for those that are new, um, G man, has said on his channel multiple times, and he is emphatic about this. He will double down on this. That liars are worse than chomos. I'll let you think about that. You've been, get, you've been getting abused too, G-Man? I've been getting abused, and I was listening to what uh, Shannon and Rev was saying before I got in here. And, and first off, uh, with Rev, Rev was saying that, that there's real target of, targeted uh, abuse on here, and it's very true. I have the, the emails and the text messages to prove it. And Shani and Rev have a lot more than I do. Um, and there's video evidence that this all over the internet. And, and these attacks are primarily, mostly, are coming from very hateful atheists here on the internet. Uh, right, they don't like Shani right. and Rev, and, they don't, and they're trying to cancel them. And it's not right, because Shani and Rev have a different opinion than what they got. And these people that supposedly support freedom of speech don't want them to use their freedom of speech on YouTube and they're profiting off of them even now. And they're, they don't even got a YouTube account and they're profiting off of them now. Drag, uh, Silvis, drag not Silvis, $2 super chat and, 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 on, on, and, and titty sprinkles. I concur. I concur. So Brett, uh, before the show is over, I think what you should do is teach Shani and Rev how to, how to deal with them according to terms of service so that they can cut that nonsense out. They either give Shani and Rev a cut of the uh, donation, that the, the, the donations that they're getting, or seriously speaking, they need to stop talking about them. Oh, y'all hear that, Cre content creators in the chat? Because I know there's a lot of uh, content creators in this chat right now. Did y'all hear that? Y'all are supposed to give a portion of your, I guess, YouTube AdSense or whatever to them. <laughs> Here's my answer. Um. <clears throat> No. Sue me, bitch. I'll wait for the summons. Dave and Anthony, $2 super chat. Did G-Man brighten her ash up long D style? Uh, she wishes. Like report their behinds on YouTube. Well, well har harassment and stalking and uh, cyber stalkers doing all these type of things, impersonation. These are all things that violate terms of service and community guidelines. Impersonation? 
Wow, they're reaching. That's this is <laughs> a false flag situation. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. Oh my gosh. Jamie and Jason, they're sounding like they're they've had enough. And personally, it might be a, might be good to take a couple months off. If you decide to come back, I would totally support you and uh, tell people to go to your channel wherever you started up or anything like that. We both know I've been through a hell of a lot of stuff. And oh, as yeah. far as uh, oh, people yeah. cause an issue for jobs and all that, I know a while back some people tried getting you fired, G-Man, and you were just trying to work and hard. Successful. No, that's another lie. G-Man keeps repeating that. He was never fired from that job. He claims that the quote atheists in cool in you know, the atheists, apparently, everybody's an atheist if you disagree with them, that supposedly the atheists got him fired, but they found out that he was still working there way after that. Um Bloma to $20 super chat. Burnt toast is the best sliced bread. Thank you. Best sense sliced bread. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Maria's world. Nine ninety nine. Hmm. I supported them till I seen proof of child abuse. Shani is okay showing her kids here, but if you ask about them, we're called child. Grow up, Shani. Um, I mean, honestly, Maria, I don't know what to think of you because you were giving them money after all of this came out, and you were giving, you were super chatting, uh, like stuff. And you're wanting to uh, give money to G-Man too. So, I mean, I mean, do you, but I'm not going to just like trust you or think that you're cool just because you super chat me 10 bucks. Like, do you not know that we have super chat? Like I have uh, screenshots. Okay. So sorry. And they were very successful. You believe that. But you want to know what though? Life goes on. You find another job. That's what you do. These people, I'm telling you, Brad, I've gotten a lot more aggressive since you've been going, man. I think I've gotten a lot more aggressive, a lot more verbal about some things. Um, no one's asking you to trust me. Well, you felt the need to post a super chat trying to convince me otherwise. Again, all these people who are saying, oh, I never supported them. Listen, time is what's going to solve this. Okay, six months from now, if you're still, you know, saying the same thing, then people may, you know, change their mind. Okay. Uh, Tata Jedi, $5 super chat. Shani here is some of my AdSense, so you don't lull suit TGR. Whoops, send it to toast again. Pound for pound, they are the most. <laughs> the IP bans on a stream ever. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I've gotten educated about the law. So a lot of them, some of them have backed off of me. And then while others are still coming after me, they haven't learned nothing. But um, I, I take what I earn and I try to help uh, Shani and Rep anytime I, like any chance I get. Because what, what's happening to these two is, is wrong. It's just wrong. Well, can you guys do me a favor? I got to use the restroom real quick. I've been drinking coffee. You guys want to take over the broadcast for a little bit and talk about some things? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Kenny, long time no see. How you doing, sis? Uh, well, you know how I'm doing. But right. um, by the way, I have some DMs when you get here that you need to see. Because they stay I'll back in 2017, and you're going to be thanking me very much for them because it proves the harassment. Okay, listen, Maria. I never said that you had to prove anything to me. What I'm saying is, is that if you're trying to convince people in this chat right now that you didn't support them after that video came out, then you're going to have to give people some time. Like you can't just be like super chatting people and expect them to be like, oh, okay, everything's good. People feel some type of way about it. Okay. Again, I, I don't know. I don't know what answer you're looking from me. Like seriously, notice how you're not being timed out. You're not blocked. Feel free to say whatever you want. But I'm just saying from experience, if you want to like accept people, like if you if you expect people to just kind of like be nice to you and stuff, you're going to have to give them time. And over the years. Thank you. And I appreciate it because I'm definitely going to put it to use. That's for sure. Because mm -hmm. they claim I don't have anything, but I know I do. You know, Oh yeah, I, I have it. And it's it's literally them. Mm -hmm. Uh asking information about you and, and saying they will not ever stop harassing you. Excellent. 
Excellent. And if it goes back as far as 2017, that's even better. Because yep. I'll shut them up. Trust me. Yep. Uh, and it's really me telling them to stop obsessing over YouTube and them saying, no, I'm going to continue to do it. Oh, okay. Great. And so it's, it's it, great proof. Good. And, and I'm going to copy every last one of them. And I'll take them in front of a judge. Yep. Yep. It's, it's right there. It's right there. How are you and coping I know with the pain? Huh? How are you coping with the pain? Not good. Okay. This is the last thing I'm going to say on this. In my enabling video that I posted, there is a screenshot where Maria sent a super chat saying, oh, this is money to buy G-Man or something like that. It's in the video that's already on my channel. That was after May 31st. Last time I'm going to say. All right. So not good. I'm literally, I'm literally sitting here and I, I, I usually stare in a corner and try to zone out. That's well, tomorrow. I'm, I'm hoping tomorrow, like tomorrow, probably around 12 or one, I'll give you a call and we can meet up and we can go take care of that. Yeah. And, and then, um, I'm having really bad neurology problems where I'm having really bad tremors. I've been having them all day. Mm -hmm. And I have wow. to use the walker in order to walk because the tremors are so bad. So, wow. how do you app, usually cope with that? Do you like uh, listen to some it, gospel music, or do you go to see? What does the doctor tell you to do? The doctor hasn't really done anything yet. Uh, that is, I don't believe that for a second. Like you know that when she went in there, the doctor was like, "You are like 500, 600 pounds. You need to lose weight." There's no way that she went in there and he was like, oh, yeah, you look great. This is all great. See you in a couple of weeks with blood work. Like, there's no way. Because they're trying to figure out what is causing this issue. But um, extreme anxiety. I don't know if it's that. Because I get it a little bit myself one here. Sometimes I have to turn to, you know, I, I can't be on YouTube and listen to what people are saying. because Sometimes I get overly anxious. And I have to like get my mind together and be careful about how I, what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna say it, who not to talk about. Like I gotta be really careful with that stuff, especially where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? With getting ready to deal with these people, you know? Yeah, I can't wait for you to deal with them and finally it will end, you know? Oh, receipts are a pesky thing. Look what Drag just sent me. I don't know if you can see that. It says, uh, I doubt he will do that. Then Shani says, I can't do this anymore. He is going to rape me, dot, dot, dot. They will act like this before they do, dot, dot, dot. I can't go through another one. Goodbye. All he is doing is threatening me. Hmm. Um, you guys want to uh, want to guess who she's talking about? Exactly, Drag. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, y'all want to guess who she's talking about? Hmm. Uh, she's talking about G-Man. Yeah. Like she literally accused G-Man of trying to R-word her. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Talking about DMs. Hmm. No, I, I hope it ends after this. Because I, I can't do it anymore. Like these people tracking me down and calling the police on me and getting CPS on my butt all the time. And it's like, uh, oh, really? Okay, my bad. Ah, <clears throat> uh, there you go. Can y'all read that now? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's talking about G Man here. See, I don't believe this. Of course, G-Man wasn't going to do that. Uh, Drag says, I have tons of receipts. I just hold on to she forgets. Yep. A lot of us have a lot of receipts. Thing about when you lie is that you have to remember all the things that you lied about and who you lied to. Thanks, Debbie Elliott. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I, I forgot to tell you, CPS showed in my house a couple days ago again. 
again. Right. Again, yeah. That's what I want to talk to Brett about. Standing, I they were like, I don't, he, he, was, he was standing and he was like, I don't even know why I'm here. It's obvious your kids aren't afraid of you. It's obvious they're well fed, they're dressed, and they're taken care of. So why am I here? They're called prank calls where they waste taxpayer dollars to send these people to a house where no abuse is going on to try to harass you. They're using the system to try to just harass you guys and drive you guys crazy. Yeah, and, but and the good use, news is, is we have proof of this. We have proof. Yeah, and they use the excuse that I'm abusive by yelling at the kid for not killing the cat because he was he he didn't have him on his lap. He had him in between his legs. Yes. See, they're still they're still denying that any of what happened was abuse. Oh. So, um Oh, David Anthony, $2 super chat. In Shani's mind, police do what they tell them to do, right? Um, so we could, so I have another hour and change. Um, basically, this is just going to be more of the same regurgitated bullshit that they have both been saying for months now. So I was thinking that we move on to Laura because there is a video that I want you guys to see. Um, Laura is turning out to be very similar to Shani, not in every way, but in a lot of ways. Laura decided to crash a funeral that she was not invited to, <laughs> that, um, let's see, was it Janice? Thank you so much for, um, for joining. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> this is pretty crazy. Um, I actually had to edit this because unfortunately, Laura actually <laughs> recorded this. Okay. So let me back up. There was a whole family that was murdered was five people and it was horrific. Um, that's really all I know. And so she decided that she would crash this funeral. She was not invited. She was not friends. She did not know any of these people. She saw it on the news and saw, oh, it's only 20 minutes away. So I'm just gonna crash this funeral. And on top of that, uh, she wore a fake press pass and when they told her that they didn't want any press there, um, she was like, okay, but then she still recorded everything and put the phone in her purse. And she um, did this video zooming in on grieving family members who are crying in the parking lot. And um, yeah, it was a complete mess. And I'm so beyond disgusted with this. Um, it, it, like, I, it was still on her channel as of like this morning. That's how I downloaded it. But I did blur out the family because she uploaded it to YouTube and didn't blur out anybody's faces. Imagine how you would feel if that was your family. That's going to work. Okay. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Can you hear me? There you go. Can you guys hear me? Give me a yes or a no. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Good. All right. Here we go. It's only like 20 minutes away. I woke up really, really, really late. Like my hair's in a ponytail and I got lipstick on. That's about it. All right, so the church is on this road.
The buffering should be gone. Turn left? Where? Oops. My goodness. Ah, there okay. It is. Uh, somebody's asking, uh, what was her reasoning? Yeah, so she claims to be a true crime channel, the actual true crime community, as far as I'm hearing from dozens of people, is they do not consider her true crime. They don't like her. She doesn't actually provide uh, facts. She doesn't go over the forensics or any of the criminology or anything about the case. She just sits there. Uh, her and Molly just kind of gossip about uh, speculating about who's guilty and who's not. And quite frankly, if I was in the family's position, the, the victim's position, I wouldn't want some random YouTuber um, speculating and gossiping about my dead relative. I would want to see people actually taking it seriously and not making a mockery of this. And, and later on in this video, um, you can hear the people in her chat telling her, like egging her on. And she's like, okay, guys, I the things that I do for my YouTube channel. Yeah. I bet that's it. Okay, so this is a little odd. Everyone's here in groups except me. And there's like a hundred bikers. That's because you're not part of their group. You're not part of their family. And you were not invited. Who does? Like, seriously, who does this shit? Seriously, can you imagine? Um, somebody says today on Lars channel, she said she plans on showing murder victims, autopsy photos on her Patreon. Uh, the family had YouTuber Kendall Ray do a documentary. I really hope she's not going to do that. That's disgusting. And there's five, uh, there's five, uh, hearses. There's a little baby running around. The bikers have like a blanket or something. I'll show you guys. I feel kind of dumb. I'm like the only one here alone. Um, you are dumb. Laura. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So just again, I've blurred out people's faces. I have cut out long, uh, like pregnant pauses where she isn't talking to make it easier to watch. The things I do for you guys. See? <clears throat> I don't know why it's not big yet. Probably because he's a juvenile. I mean, it's big around here. There's a bike, a bitch. Yeah, somebody from the family. Oh, there's a biker, bitch. Jeez. Wow. It's fucked up, though, to see five hearses here. Really, not that many people as I thought. But maybe because it's early. People are going to be like, who the fuck are you? They should have kicked you out. Look at that. What? Five hearses. It's creepy to see that many hearses at a funeral. Like you're a total stranger taking a video for YouTube. Like this was a live stream that you were recording grieving family members of a gruesome family murder. Like five people were murdered. A whole family wiped out. And you thought this, like the five hearses were creepy? 
you are the one being creepy. Who does this? The bikers are behind all the cars, but there's lots of them. No, they're the outlaws. Hell's Angels I feel comfortable with. I don't know the outlaws. I can tell you probably lots of smokers to talk to. They have a bad rap everywhere. See that guy right there? I think he's a good person to talk to. I agree. All right, that's somebody. Was it yeah, the dad was an outlaw. So what she's saying is that the father of the family um was in a, a biker gang and he was, I guess, an outlaw, whatever it's called. Um the fact that it's already disturbing enough that she's doing all of this and filming it for a live stream. <laughs> But it's also extra creepy that she's talking about, oh, see that family member over there? I'm going to go talk to them. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? What's the windscreen? What windscreen? You got the window down? There you go. Windows down. So that dude with his hand on someone's shoulder, that guy's somebody. That's got to be family. Look at me scouting people out like a murderer. I'm going to talk to that dude eventually. No, they're definitely family right there. See, car needs a wash. It's the windows. I'm in the fucking country, dude. This is country living. Bugs flying on the windshield. Yeah, they're definitely family. Are you Kalea? Yeah, that's that's definitely family. Did you ever cry at a funeral where you know nobody? I don't know. I'll try. I know, well, truth. Especially the babies. But you guys are going to see it with me. No news stations are here. You know why no news stations were there? Because it was not open to the public, Laura. Press were not supposed to be there. People who were not invited were not supposed to be there because they didn't want people putting it online out of respect for the entire family that had been wiped out. Wow, like I'm speechless at this point. Lots of bikers. It's actually a lot emptier than I thought it was going to be. I should go talk to that dude. He's back. I'm going to make a move. Don't worry, I won't put you guys in the purse yet. Somebody says, what is she reporting on that needs to be reported? Exactly. Shape-shifting monkey. Exactly. Great point. How does this help the family at all? Since that is supposed to be her motivation of what she says that she's doing with her, quote, true crime channel. Is to help the family solve the case, right? Or to, to give awareness to like, you know, the suspects and every, all of the details of the case and all, all so on and so forth. How is recording grieving family members helping the case? Wow. <sighs> wow. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but back over here, 
was all of the bikers. And they were standing around, and I don't know if they were praying or talking, but they were clearly grieving. And then right here, there was a woman who looked like she had broken down um, with emotion, and there was another woman hugging her and consoling her. <laughs> Bro, like, I'm so beyond disgusted at this point. That's why I was like, there's no way that I'm going to show this without blurring these people's faces because this is incredibly disrespectful. So here she was standing on that porch you just saw, pretending to, well, she was like smoking a cigarette while holding her phone up. And all right here, it was all of the, the bikers with the family and the minister. And it looked like they were kind of explaining, they were either praying or they were explaining like what was about to happen in like as far as the, the funeral inside, the memorial service. Oh, and by the way, um, when other people have called her out on this, multiple content creators have done so. And she's like, well, I accidentally put funeral in the title. Uh, at the top, I put Laura crashes a funeral. That's my title. But there's funeral in the title of her video on her channel. And so people were like, why did you crash a funeral? And instead of saying, I shouldn't have done that or showing any kind of remorse or, or anything, she was like, oh, it, well, I meant to say it was a wake. It was a, it was a wake, not a funeral. Bitch, really? No, it was a funeral. I'm not filming inside. Even if it was a wake, you still shouldn't have been there. You guys think I'm fucking crazy? <clears throat> what do you guys think? I'm like trash or something? Oh, uh, yeah, you are trash. One hundred percent. This is what trash people do. Not you guys. Like Alex? Come on now. There's a lot of bikers. Is she hiding the phone while filming? At this point, there's like a, it looks like a film at the bottom where I don't have it blurred. What I think is happening is that she has it like in like her sleeve or in something on her purse because it looks like fabric is kind of covering the lens a little bit. Um, later, she does stick it in her purse and I'm not even kidding you, walks right on into that service and puts her phone in her purse the whole time. And there was a bunch of parts that I cut out, including a part at the very end of the video where you can hear a woman in the background breaking down and weeping. And I did not put that in this video because that's beyond disgusting. I just got smoking again. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to smoke. Michelle Fury, $5 super chat. Thank you for handling this respectfully. This is really effed up. 
You're welcome. And thank you for the super chat. Like, I mean, there have been times where I've had things on here and Shani's kids were in the background. I blurred out their faces too. Like the people that I review on my channel, they don't care about the privacy of others. But I personally can't put a video like this up without blurring the faces of people because it's just not right. How long ago did she do this? Um, the, the video on her channel says 2019. And apparently what I'm hearing is that even after she did all of this, just left it up on her channel and then never did any kind of investigation or crime, whatever video on what actually happened to the family. So that's kind of sus to me. You guys don't be so worried. How are you guys going in? And here you have family that's walking this way and you have some women that are coming out of the church crying on like on this direction. And she's just standing there just holding her phone like it's nothing. <laughs> Girl from the Oblong Box, 499 Super Chat. That's the part that bothers me the most. She only went to the funeral for views. This makes me physically sick. This woman is vile. I totally agree. Like, even if she was legitimate about her crime channel, there was no reason to do this. None whatsoever. I don't care how much of a, even if she did a, a four hour documentary that was, you know, a master, a masterful work of whatever the case was, this video still didn't need to, to happen. You know what I mean? She's just standing there. Filming people who are crying walking into a funeral. You can see your shadow there. Just bold. I give her that. She's bold. My, hair. my hair's on a ponytail. <laughs> it's amazing to me. You know what's so sad is that the family was probably so devastated by such a gruesome crime that they weren't paying attention to her just standing there holding a phone.
Did she for real say that? Laura told Negs she was a journalist when he questioned her about filming a YouTube video at a funeral. <laughs> She's not a journalist. Mm -mm. I don't believe that for a second. Because they have to have things like integrity and ethics, which she clearly does not have. I'm going to go in. <clears throat> you guys are going to my birth. I'll put you on the side. Yes, she literally walked into a hallway where the family was lined up. And at one point you have full view of them and they're standing there and that group is also praying. Like everybody has their heads down and they're talking quietly. Somebody says um, she was at a funeral for murdered children. Uh, yeah, this was a whole family that was murdered. It was like five, five people, a mom and a dad, and I'm assuming three kids, but yeah. It was a whole family. Yeah. So at this point, she had put her phone in the purse and she was in the hallway for a while while people were lined up. And then she walked back outside and that's what she is doing now. I signed in standing in line. Stand here anymore. Need shake. It's really sad. You know, just filming more people without any kind of, I don't know, thought that maybe you are invading their privacy. I guess we're going in. It's the Saints MC, not the Outlaws. It's our life. Um, somebody said they were killed by the by 15-year-old son. People were in shock about the deaths and the killer. Wow, that's so sad. Oh. So that means there's a lot of mixed emotions. A lot of mixed emotions there. When you have one family member kill others that's that's a lot to process they don't need some random person who's you know whatever the fuck she's doing filming everything oh my gosh a lot of jackets that said the saints <clears throat> it looks like we're going in All right. You guys have to go back in the purse. Do you hear that? You guys have to go back in the purse. So she's still live with a live audience. And she's going to put her, her phone in the purse so that she can keep doing the live stream. Toast, was this recorded in a two-party state? Wiretapping laws are no joke. If it was a two-party state, the family and anyone present could have legal recourse. Um, I'm not sure. She says she lives in Alabama. I don't know if that's where she was in 2019. And she said that this was only, that she heard about it on the news and she rushed to be there. And it was only 20 or 30 minutes from, I guess, where she was living at the time. I have no idea 
where this took place or where she was living at the time. So it was all in Alabama. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So that was the end. And the reason why I cut off the ending of that is because you could hear a woman in the background um, weeping for a couple of seconds. And I don't like, that's just not appropriate like at all to put on a channel. So yeah. So we're going to look at another uh, video that was sent to me today. Um, this is another thing that I have found out about not only Laura, but Molly. And shout out to Sarah and Dippity. This is on her channel. Um, this is pretty crazy. Essentially what you have here on screen is you have Laura, you have Molly, and this guy right here is a chomo. Like convicted. And we're gonna we're gonna listen to how they had um they had him as a guest on Molly's channel. And then at the end, we're gonna listen to Molly defend that decision. This should be fun, right? I'm just disgusted. I'm not mad. I'm just disgusted that this, she, she's just a reject. This is girl who's saying a bunch of things about you. You probably haven't seen the video. Not worth clicking on. The girl just runs her mouth. The girl's a joke in this community. She's got to get her shit together. Nobody cares about her. But now she wants to swing it as if we accept pedophiles into the community, blah, blah, blah. Is there, I'm giving you the chance, a fair chance to say whatever you would like to say to all the women on panel, everyone watching in chat. How how are you perceiving this? You're gonna pay warning on this video? <laughs> well, I hope you don't say anything crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything crazy. Go ahead. Um, I think it's disgusting that they keep bringing up my past. Uh, it happened 14 years ago when I was 20. Um, I do admit that I shouldn't have did what I did. I never had sex with a girl. I uh, fingered her and I found out how old she was and then I quit seeing her. So I did I did one single charge of sexual abuse, second degree, which was a misdemeanor. Okay, well, I'm going to get down because um, <laughs> uh, I don't want to say anything. We know. It was back in 2007. If I was a pedophile or a child molester, I think that I would have more than just one single charge on my record. It's something that happened in 2007. Um, I only got a year for it, and I haven't had any cases since then, so I don't really, you know, think that it's, a, I mean, it's a big deal, but I don't really think that I am um, should be labeled as a pedophile or child molester because it happened when I was 20 years old. I'm 34 now. What's the current charge? Se uh, sexual abuse, second degree. Oh, so he has a current charge at that time, too. After he just got done saying, oh, it was just one time. And then at the time of this video, there was also a second one. Right. GH Beach, $5 super chat. All I see is the corpse flesh under the claws of this disgusting ghoul end me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. There's a class in um, Kentucky. Okay. And what are the other charges that you've had? Uh, failure to register. Wait. I thought he said at the beginning that he only had one charge and that's it. And people need to stop, like, you know, bringing up his past. He has multiple charges now. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay. But I haven't had a um, sex charge since 2007. So if I was really... What they say I am, I would have more than just one on my record. What about sexual assault? Never had sexual assault, no. Uh, are we really going to do this? 
So you are a registered sex offender. And then for a very good reason, by the way. And so then you're going to sit here and be like, no, I've never had an SA charge. Bruh, what do you think you have to register for? That's like the same people that leave comments on my channel that are like, well, she neglected her kids. She didn't actually ab abuse her, abuse them. She just neglected them. It's the same thing. Neglect is abuse. If you are a sex register, if you have to, um, if you have to register as a sex offender, that means that you have done something to get on that registry. Didn't you, all right, maybe I'm wrong. So this is Molly's response. Hey, Molly Gillette is a horrible person for having that person on. I'm like the, I don't know how many people he's been on, but I think it's like, I'm probably like the fifth channel. And you want to know something? I'm not going to say that he's a bad person. I think the guy needs help. Um, wow. Wow. So according to, I'll put this back up so you can see it. Um, she posted it April 7th, 2021. Um, I don't know when it was actually posted when the actual like uh, stream happened. Um, here's the thing. So I looked up what um, second degree SA means. Let's take a look, shall we? Since he's one of the saying it's like no big deal. Uh, why is everybody got to keep bringing it up? Yeah. So um, SA, second degree, means the offender is at least 18 years or older. And eight, eight, the offender is at least 18, but younger than 21. He was 20. And subjects another a person younger than 16 to sexual conduct. Um, and then those are the punishments. So he was convicted and is on the registry for SA. And then wants to turn around and be like, nope, I never did SA. What? The fact that he is still making excuses and is not owning it says all I need to hear. Because that's somebody that is not sorry for what they did. Interesting. Wow. Um, I'm just kind of blown away right now. Because the more and more I look into the two of them, the more red flags I'm seeing. And... Um, it says, oh, and refused to register. Yep. Yeah, he he admitted that in the video. He refused to register, which generally when they do that, it means that they are wanting to offend again. And they don't want to have to deal with moving into an area and have people know that somebody like him moved in. And let's just be really clear here. People who do things like that, they don't just wake up one day and be like, you know what? I think I'm going to commit essay today. People who has a, who have a history and a pattern of doing things like that over and over again, it's because they've been doing it for a while and they just got caught. It's like people who get DUIs, they didn't just drink that one day. It means that they probably have dr driven drunk for a while and they just recently got caught. Um they all knew his charges. So they knew the charges before he got up there. Okay, so I'm going to do something I normally don't do. I have about 20 minutes before Crude AF starts his stream. I'm going to open up the stream to those, I guess, from her community or who have been around for a while. Don't come up here with some bullshit. Don't come up here with some gossip. I want to hear people who have knowledge in this, who have been around, who know what's going on, and 
don't come up here and act foolish because I will kick you. Okay. I'm not, not in the mood for that today. Um, I'm going to put it in the chat. I just, again, I just want people from that other community to click the link. Okay. So that I can ask them questions. And please only facts. Thank you, Janice. I don't, I don't care about gossip. I just, I want the facts. Um, okay. Somebody says they're going to come up. <clears throat> so I'll wait for them. And I appreciate you guys being willing to come up here because I, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> cool. Um, and I'm not like these other channels. You do not have to show your face if you don't want to. Um, for privacy reasons, I don't show my face. I just uh, I wanted you to see that I'm a, a real person, but I'm going to turn my camera off okay. now. All right. So, I just wanted you to see because I know some people from other communities do this. So, um, hi, how are you? Good. So what is your name? So, well, my name is Liana, but I have my channel. Made oh, oh, you don't have to tell me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you don't have to tell me your real name. Okay. Everybody knows my real name in our, in our community. So basically this, the community that you're talking about kind of, I guess I was one of the founders in a sense, I, I guess I could say when we started, you know, we started following the Chris Watts case and that's how uh, everybody met. So a couple of us had channels. We kind of, you know, started talking to one another and, uh, we had Molly, you know, wonderful Molly, who I was never a fan of. I didn't never like her. Um, I met Laura through another friend and uh, I was friends with her actually for a while. And then we stopped talking and then I became friends with her again, like stupidly. Um, and we recently fell out like, well, not recently. It was about like seven months ago, but it, th th these are terrible people you're dealing with. By the way, I just want to say I watched your video from the other day. And um, you did great commentary on it. So it Thank was you really very much. good. Yeah. Thank was, you. You know what it is? Like some people do commentary and I know myself sometimes I get a little, I could get a little nasty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like mean, but like you did it in a really nice way, um, but just stuck to like the truth and the facts. So I like that. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I That's, yeah. that's what I try to do because yeah. I don't want, because the people that I make videos about, they will absolutely take every opportunity to accuse you of gossiping about them. I mean, right. Shani does this all the time. And right. so if I don't stick to the facts, that's the first thing that's going to come out of her mouth. Exactly. And that's why it was, it was done well. I know I don't really, I'm not very familiar with the Shani person, but you made some really valid points about, you know, the, the abuse and everything going on. Like I, I don't, again, I don't know her, but I believe everything that you're saying about her because what other reason, you know, you have no reason to lie. I mean, yeah. About and it. all and of the receipts, mother. yeah, all the receipts about Shani are on my channel, on Drag's channel. Like you can actually right. see the videos where right. she's doing these things like on camera. So yeah. Right. So do you know me, and Eric? Uh, Eric? Which Eric? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know. I Eric make a mobster. Here, but... Hey. Oh, is this wicked? As it... Yeah. I know. Yep, Eric. It's the same. Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what I wanted to say to you, um, Burnt Host? So the other day, because Laura was talking about um, the the video that, you know, with the Shani person, and she's saying, oh, if you don't like them, just don't watch them, and yada, yada, yada. Well, there was this girl, and you made, a, you made a great point there where you were saying, basically, like, you're putting your stuff out on YouTube, on a public platform. And I say that all the time on my channel. Like, if you're going to put yourself and your personal business out here on a platform like this, then you have to expect that people are going to criticize you. You know, even normal people, quote unquote, right, get criticized on this platform. It doesn't matter who you are, really. Yeah. But um, she was doing the same thing. There was this girl, Kim. All right. Not a lot of people are a big fan of her. She was supporting a, a murderer, basically. Okay. She thought he was innocent. Um, she had a whole theory and everything like this behind it. But Laura started streaming her. Just the same way that she was talking about how you, you know, shouldn't be streaming or you guys shouldn't be talking about Shani or whatever her name is. She was doing the same thing to this girl. 
you know, the girl, yes, is the girl open for criticism? Absolutely. She's putting herself out there. She's very controversial subject, you know, but if Laura didn't like it, she just didn't have to watch it. You know, she didn't have to sit there day after day streaming the girl. I don't know if other people remember this, but I mean, I was friends with her at the time and I was like, I don't understand why you're inserting yourself into this and like streaming the girl, criticizing every single thing that she does. If you don't like what she's doing, just don't watch it. So that's very interesting because if she's going to do that and then turn around and like complain about all these channels that are yep. doing the same thing to Shani. Yeah. I mean, there's so many, Laura had a whole entire reaction channel. It got, oh, it got, she did. Um, yeah, it got terminated by YouTube because, uh, I guess for copyright reasons, but she had a whole entire, like she, she started off in the true crime world. Okay. Well, she was covering making a murderer and, um, she gained, you know, the bulk of her subscribers on her main channel off of them. And then she came into like drama, you know, and then she had this reaction. I mean, she just keeps spinning channels off. She has like three channels, I think, right now that are monetized, two in which she hardly posts to. Well, one of them she completely never posts to, and they all have memberships on them. So she has some people that are paying membership on three channels. Three channels. And, wow. and she's only really posting to one channel. Then she sits there, hold on, because also she was talking about the e-bagging thing, and, and it was really funny. I think it was in your video. She said, oh, I don't know what an e-bagger really is. Uh, you're an e-beggar, Laura. This girl's living off of the government, okay? She, she has the government paying for her food <laughs> right now, which is nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. But then she goes and gets a $5,000 surgery in Mexico. If you have enough money to get, you know, uh, surgeries and uh, cosmetic surgery in Mexico, you know, you should have enough money to feed your kids. Shouldn't that come first? Shouldn't that be your priority? So, um, she also ripped people apart. There was somebody in our community who did a uh, charity basically during Christmas and they had everybody made these like lists on Amazon and people were buying lists for, pe you know, buying gifts for the children and whatever. Well, she sat there. I was on panel with her that night. That was when we were friends and she ripped apart the list. Right. But then all of a sudden, a month later, she puts out her own list and starts asking people to buy Christmas presents for her three grown, you know, her children are teenagers. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't deserve Christmas presents, they do, but she got fired from her job for, quote, not having empathy. And that's her words, <laughs> not mine. Um, so yeah, she's definitely a train wreck of epic proportions. Mm, I can second yeah. that. So yeah. when did she, so, so this is new. I didn't have any idea until just now that she had an actual reaction channel. Mm -hmm. So it's gone. who who was she reacting to? You know what? Just I random don't even, people. Well, I know she did reaction to like uh ninety was it ninety day fiance I believe, but she streams people all the time. She would stream other people in our community. Um, there was there was basically a war. I don't know if you heard of Diane. She mentioned it in the video the other night this woman diane pretty much had our whole community fooled she was a you know she was like popular in our little neck of the woods um she had a channel her and this other woman they used to go live all the time and she would tell everybody that the money was going to saint jude's all her super chat any money that she made on the channel well it ends up that wasn't really true wow she had donated some money but not all so um you know, Laura went after her big time, but they were always feuding her channel and then Laura's channel. So Laura would constantly stream them. I mean, even at times when they weren't talking about her, she would stream them. You know, she still talks about one of the women who was completely innocent in the whole thing. She just was up on the panel. You know, she was like a co-host basically who had nothing to do with the money. She didn't know what was going on with the money. And Laura streams her all the time, calls her fat. You know, she's, mm -hmm. she's a train wreck. She's a total train wreck. Trash. Yeah, so, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. she's the, the other woman, Wendy. She Laura is completely obsessed with her. Her mm -hmm. and also my other friend, Randy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Burnt Toast, I'm actually the one who sent you the video clip about the uh, the fake suicide attempt. Oh, oh yeah, okay. That. Okay. Well, she, and, yeah, that, that and, yes. Mm -hmm. And my friend, Randy, God rest her mother, her mother passed when she was a year yeah. old. Mm -hmm. self-inflicted yeah. and uh 
Laura decided to use that as a weapon against Randy to shut mm-hmm. her up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she said she said something pretty horrible about the mother, you know, and the way that she passed away. Um, it, it was pretty gross. It's pretty disgusting. I don't even want to repeat it in case I trigger anybody in your, um, you know, your chat. I don't know everybody, so. And um, I actually I don't think there's screenshots, anybody. and I think there's some screenshots of like her tweets uh, talking about that in that video clip. Yes, I did see the screenshots. Um, yeah. Pretty bad. Um, I had a question. Um, sure. So you said um, make up. You want MM or just makeup monster? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. It's all right. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. you said that you used to be friends with Laura. Mm-hmm. So what is it like? How long were you friends? And like, what happened to? What was the falling out? <laughs> Uh, well, it's a kind of long story. So I met her, like I said, in the very beginning, when I first came, you know, into this community that we kind of, I, I like, I don't want to say we started it, but we kind of did, you know, we kind of were like the main creators in our little community for a while. Now there's like way more people, but back at that time, there was maybe like four or five of us, you know, um, and everybody used to hop from chat to chat. We became friends because we actually grew up in the same area she grew up a town over from me in new york so um we were friends for like a couple of months and then she started talking to molly golightly and i do not like molly golightly never did never will um that's a whole nother story that's forget it i could sit here all night telling you all the stuff that woman has done to me but um you know laura and i just kind of went our separate ways and then she got it. Listen, she was warring with people and people were making tons of videos about her and this and that. And then I started feeling bad because I do have a heart, you know, and I was like, this is too much. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to make videos, but it got a little bit carried away. I mean, they were literally going in on her about every little aspect of her life. And I understand why, because she's crazy and she says really stupid shit, you know? Um, but sorry, excuse me for cursing. Um, no, that's okay. Think, so. <laughs> anyway, that's all, right. all right. I just want to make sure because I, you know, I try to <laughs> keep my mouth a little cleaner on other people's channels. <laughs> so, um, so recent, you know, then we we started talking again, uh, probably for like a good year, I would say, almost a year, and then um, it was just a series of things that happened. I saw her two colors, I guess you could say, but her like kind of the way she would talk about patreons and stuff of hers that i just thought was disgusting i mean people are literally walking dollar signs to her and nothing more um she treated a couple of people that were longtime supporters of her and not just you know emotionally supportive but financially supportive of her she kind of threw them out like they were garbage and so that was one of the things that i didn't like another thing was like she'll do like things like i was live one night so she went live at the same time i was live and started picking out names of people in my chat that she knows I'm friends with and saying they were idiots because we weren't seeing eye to eye on how to handle this situation with this woman who is stealing money from the community, basically. And uh, and then she, again, went back to, uh, she sent me this text message about she sells candles, really crappy garbage candles. And so she, <laughs> she went, um, she went on, in the chat, Molly Golightly's chat, and they were dropping her links to her candles. And she was like, she texted me and she's like, oh, I'm just using them, you know, to drop her link. Cause she's like, I'm an, uh, my awesome promoting skills got me eight candle sales or whatever. And after that, like just, you know what I'm saying? There was just a series of things that I saw her doing concerning money and people that I just didn't like any, you know, I, I didn't feel comfortable with. Plus, I mean, look, going to funerals, there's a lot of baggage that comes along with being friends with somebody like that. That's so controversial. You know, you, you have a lot of baggage. So I just separated myself from the situation. Um, is it true that she is doxing people or has doxed people? Yes. Yeah, she has. All right. Well, when it comes to Laura doxing, there's been times where she's, I, (laughs) I had a really bad incident with her. I don't think it was her fault, but like I literally, I don't know why, was in the shower. <laughs> don't ask me why. I went to go on her panel, and I go, I joined on Zoom, and my camera showed up. My camera turned on while I was, I mean, I was getting out of the shower, and I was listening. So, she does a lot of. There's a lot of accidental slip ups 
So she'll like accidentally show her email or her Facebook and she'll dox people in that way. Um, but she has doxed people, I mean, before uh, on her panels. Like uh, once, uh, once she actually Starlight. showed her uh, browser history and mm -hmm. uh, our, Wendy, Wendy's name was on it. No, that was me actually. Oh, that was you? <laughs> that was me. Yeah, that was Whoops. me. That was me. That was me. Uh -oh. I'll, I'll, I'll own that one. Yeah, that was a total yeah accident. Well, that was because Wendy was like saying she was gonna report us to the uh, police or something, or so I was told. And I, you know, I'm like, well, I want to know who this is who's reporting me to the police. Like, yeah. but I don't. That's even... I mean, that's also when you guys had that major beef going. So that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It is. But I mean, you know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not 100 percent innocent. But she, um. She's she's wretched. She just does really shitty things to people. So I mean, I've noticed that a lot of people from the true crime community are saying that she doesn't actually have a true tri true crime channel. No, she doesn't. It's ma mainly she, drama. Well, she has a she has a she has her main channel, which is Perplex QT, and she has true crime on there. But when she, like, I look at people in the true crime community, like Gray Hughes. He's a true crime creator. John Crimes, True Crime. They have a channel that's exclusively dedicated to that. You know what I'm saying? And the bulk of their time is put into that. Her channel is, I wouldn't compare it. She just goes live, pulls up articles while she's live, doesn't know the facts half the time, you know? So, um, yeah, she, she, but she spends the majority of time on her Life Perplex channel where she's basically just talking how, you know, everybody's, gross, ugly, fat, you know, whatever. Assholes, morons, whatever word you can think of. Yeah, she so. likes to always like claim like everyone else is so obsessed with her and all mm -hmm. that. Yes. Creepy skinwalkers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that's a bizarre uh reference. Um <laughs> yeah, cuz the stream that I did about her um on Thursday, um I got notification that she went live during that stream. And so afterwards I went back and I watched it and it was some complaining that, oh, people are going live with my name in the title, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But it was mostly talking about her dog and some other stuff that's super boring and I didn't want to listen to. But I did yeah. listen to the whole thing. And it was funny because at the end she was like, I know who I am. And um, anybody who's streaming about me is just trying to make a name yeah, like build bear their channel on her name. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really interesting because I thought, okay, well, the next time she goes live with one of her quote, true crime streams, let's see how many live viewers she gets. Because I don't really care, to be on like honest with 30. you. Yeah. I don't compare. Yeah. And I think at the peak it was like 124, and I was mm -hmm. one of them. Right. And well, I'm thinking to myself, I do a stream without her. Right. And right. I I mean get with the live viewers that I get. So I thought it was pretty funny that she thinks that somehow I'm going to gain the <laughs> game viewers just covering her. Like, no, people oh, yeah. come to my channel because they want to see a train wreck. That that's oh, what yeah. this is. Like I fully right. admit my channel is a complete dumpster fire. And that's see, like that. That's what's cool. Like, you know, you just, I mean, mine too. My channel is kind of a dumpster fire as well. Like, but, but it's, it, she, she won't admit that, you know, in her head, she's this big uh, true crime creator, even though she just hit 10,000 subs on that channel and 700 of them or so she says, you know, in the last like month or so, which I find a little suspicious, just saying. Cause well, she I mean, there's social blade is easy to look up. Exactly. That's demonstrable yeah. that you can, you know, you can always look that up. She so. lives yeah. off a of social blade. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's constantly, you know, comparing herself to uh, everybody in the true crime, you know, she's accused them of uh, buying subscribers or why is this person popular? You know, why is that person popular? Like she's very jealous of everybody else, but I just find it interesting to hear from an outside perspective because you don't know her, you know, and uh, I think it's interesting to hear from other people's perspectives that, you know, you don't know the whole history um, off of just watching that one video, you were able to like kind of, you know, make a judgment that she's a little bit of a train wreck, you know? Yeah. I mean, there, yeah, there's a long history. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very interested in learning all of it. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm here for it. And if yeah. she wants to bring that smoke, then I'm here for that too. Like right. I, it, like yeah. she doesn't intimidate me. I've dealt with people way worse than her. So yeah, I'll like, say I'm not, and I don't like, she keeps talking about, Oh, people take it real life. I don't, I don't do that. 
I just review right. and then I go about my day. Yeah. But yeah. Um, the more I'm looking into her, the more I'm, there's so many red flags. Yeah. I, I can't even put into words. Her and, and Molly, like they, they're both, I mean, Molly, I, I think, and you know, I don't have a hundred percent proof of this. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, her best friend swatted me and another girl in the community, both in which like neither one of us really had problems with this guy. Um, he was a true crime creator and he was friends with her. And this was, this is going back now, like two years, you know, and um, the mobster was live at the time. Yeah, it's still on my channel. If you go look, if you want, I can send you a link. Um, I yeah, just, I would like to. I like to see that. Yeah, I was just kind of sitting here. We were up on my panels. We kind of, you know, bullshitting, and all of a sudden, I go up to get some ice cream, and this like, <laughs> I hear somebody pounding on my front door. And when I say swatted, I there's people who have been swatted way worse. So I, police showed up at my house. I always try to call it a police call, but just to make it easier for everybody to swatting. Um, they were pounding on my door and then all of a sudden I heard my, my front door open and I start freaking out, you know? And I go down there and there's like, I don't know, there was like five or six cop cars in front of my house. They told the police that I was um, suicidal. I had a gun, I was drunk. Um, I had a young, you know, I have an eight year old son at the time who was, you know, five or six and, uh, yeah, they, they told them that I was like threatening suicide and all this crazy shit. So thank God nothing happened. You know, I'm fine. But then wow. I think it was either the next day or the day after this other girl in our in our community, Hello Starlight, who I was friends with, um, she got one. She's like a single mom, two girls, you know what I'm saying? And they basically said the same same kind of thing, same story, you know. Um it's just and Marissa was on panel when we when this all happened with the guy who did it. And like I had synced it up because I, I was able to get not my nine one one call, but I was able to get the um what do you call it? The uh dispatch, you know, from like broadcastify or something. Yeah. And I lined it up and about ten minutes before the cops show up at my house, she says, uh, something to the effect of this is my lately. She's like, Oh well, Something's gonna happen and I'm gonna get the blame for it tomorrow. Make sure you tag me in the videos. And then like five minutes later, cops are at my house. So do I think that she was responsible? Absolutely. Do I think she, you know, did she make the call? No. But did she play a part in it? Absolutely. Um, so she's another one who doxes people, exploits victims. I mean, it's just disgusting. Really. And is. uh when uh when uh, Molly had like the last time Molly had the the chomo on panel, like before he even hopped on the panel, mm. it was her. It was Molly, Laura, and uh, Tiffany. Tiffany, yeah. and uh, like two years ago, there was some drama with me. Something I'm into was made public, not by me. And uh, Laura decided to use that to compare me to the chomo. Yeah, yeah, a fetish like versus a wow, a, a fetish that's like nothing to do with children. Like dis disgusting, disgusting. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, I hate to end the conversation here, no but no problem. Um, Crude AF is live. I just posted the link in the chat. Okay. So he is also going over Laura. Oh wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> so she's called the attention of my community. So I hope she's oh, ready. Great. She's, she'll <laughs> love it. Definitely she'll good. Love it. Oh. Yeah, thanks so for me up. Yeah, thanks for, for coming up. I appreciate that. No problem. Have a good Anytime, night. come stop by my channel one day, and uh, okay, you can come on my panel. Yeah, right. I, have, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no problem. Anytime. Thanks. Thank, thank night, you. Good night, Mobster. Good night, Brent. Thank Eric. you. Bye. Good night. night. All right, guys. Uh, the link is in the chat here. Uh, oh, Lessie Mabot, she posted again. Awesome. Um, please go to Crude AF and support him. Um, and as uh, we end, I'll play another music video to end it out. And uh, for those of you that think they're going to um, like insult me or something, I'm probably going to make it into a music video and make money off of it. So peace out, and I will see you in the next one. See you at uh, Crude AF. You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody, everybody else. else.
Watching her, and I think it's about time this is said. The woman's lying. The woman is not a Christian. There's some rumors going around that she's a former prostitute, and maybe she played around with the idea of Christianity. Hey, 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 Bert, so I know me and you got off on the wrong, on, on the wrong foot and whatnot, but I gotta give you some of that strudel. Mm-hmm. Burnt toast. Mm-hmm. Call me burnt toast. Call me. Little girls like burnt toast who needs to grow up and enter puberty. You know what I mean? What about people like burnt toast, the little girl who needs to grow up? Right, burnt toast? Let me walk you across the street, burnt toast. Okay? Toast knows she wants some of that people's strudel. She knows it. Yeah. I'll bake you some later when you give me a call. If burnt toast gets exposed into the ground. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. It smells like rotten fish, too. And I'm going to prove it. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. And I'm going to prove it. So, so anyway, burnt toast. I think me and you got off on the wrong foot. I'm going to give you a second chance to prove yourself. All right. She, she, she's a, she's a huge, huge whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. And I'm going to do it. Remember, there's a big difference between a righteous judgment and Satan slandering the saints. I, I, I would never date Burnt Toast. I would never want to conversate with Burnt Toast. I think Burnt Toast is a jerk. I know for a fact that I'm really buying into the idea that Burnt Toast is only about maybe 15 or 16 years old. Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. How is a Christian supposed to behave? I'm just curious. How is a Christian supposed to behave?